Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53, Round of 16 match between iRavel and his Chaos Dwarves versus Sambo Simon and the best team in the competition. Look at these high elves, everyone's called Jimmy Fantastic, oh baby. Um, he's got a wizard and an extra apple down to this, I mean this is a pretty, pretty horrifying chorf team. One of the favourites to win the tournament, no doubt. Unbelievable chalk team in the booth with me is Daedalquist and Squirrel Dude. Hello. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> uh, oh, a riot. That helps. Uh, quite a defensive, quite a defensive setup from uh, I Revel. Quite nice to see. Yep. Sensible. <clears throat> it's like it's almost like these are two good players. Almost. <laughs> and maybe the chalk recognise that the only way they lose. If they things go normally, they have the inevitability is the elves getting the balls. Otherwise, they just bang the fuck out of these elves. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's you know it's horrible for like this kind of matchup is horrible for high elves, isn't it? Um, but you know they've got the wizard, right? They've got the wizard, so things can happen. Yeah, and they have two strength elves and one really good ball carrier slash ball stealer, so. And there is something. Yeah. God, Jimmy, they've lost Jimmy Fantastic, though. That's terrible. <laughs> and also Jimmy Fantastic. Yeah. I guess it's better than having Jimmy Fantastic in the choke point while, while, the, rest, <laughs> while the rest of your team can't do anything. <laughs> or Wolves. So, did I ever forget that he had a Sharan's guy to pick up the ball so he didn't have to use team reroll on the failure? Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's that a, guard, a dodge guarder seems a bit of a crazy bolt. Yeah, yeah, bait, doesn't it. it? Like just pick up he's on your blood. He's just a better hobgoblin than the bolt carrier. Yeah, yeah, just pick up on your like you know, pick up on your block show hands. That's if you get bolted, okay, you you can you might like, struggle to recover, but that's better than having this guy lost and then you've got a show hands to pick up afterwards pick on the on the show hands first <laughs> yeah yeah i mean okay if it was an unskilled hobo right mm -hmm. um but even then like as as you already pointed out uh swirl is uh, the only way that the only the the, the most probable way for the hives to win is that something abnormal happens and here it is <laughs> yeah. Just make the GFIs pick it up in the tackle zone, tie up all the tackle, and uh, yeah. Pretty great turn from Sambo Simon, wasn't it? You know, he's put yeah. loads of pressure on with minimal investment, right? Three L's, like in the other half. And this is uh, terrifying for uh, I Ravel right now. Good time to have tackle on your bowl zone for right now. Yep. Yup! <laughs> And also, I edge up on uh, both and turn. Yeah, he hasn't, got, he hasn't got break tackle. Oof. <laughs> but he has edge up and dodge. So. Yeah, but it was still it's it was still weird. one in nine. It's one in nine. Yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, avoids the Avery break on Jimmy Fantastic the niggle. <laughs> Gets the pick up. Do we bolt now or fireball? Bolt? No bolt. No, um, you can't score off of it, so it's not worth it. I mean, um, you could score. You've got a, you've got a dude right here who could just pick it up, and you know, lob it at this guy or whatever. And this guy could have picked it up and lobbed at him. Like there's things. Yeah, but then it's three plus right two here. plus off of tackle. Like if you, you're not. You're not wasting the wizard to roll those dice turn two. Like, it, that's just not worth it. You could have fireballed, right? You could have fireballed. He's got a strength four here. Fireball yeah. these four. There are things he could have done, but I'm happy he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, because now the problem is, you know, is, like, this is the thing, right? It's the destabilization that is what was giving him the chance, right? Yeah. So, um... 
and an early wizard, as Rick says, you know, I love this quote by Rick. Like, you know, it gives you the high, much better high roll potential, right? If if you if you cast one of these two, yeah, dwarves, but the, but the, the one that, one of the strengths of the wizard as well is that your opponent is forced to play around it. So when it's gone, if it fizzles or if it doesn't get you what you want, then you're fucked, right? Especially True. in a matchup where you're so far behind. But you can't um, just not pull the trigger to get in front, right? Because no, but there's there's. I no, think you should have thought about I, it for I, a long time. I think you should have thought, given serious consideration do, do, to wizarding. Do, do we know that he didn't? Well, we don't know, but I'm just saying, you know, you're saying he's glad he didn't. I think you should have thought about it a lot. Yeah, I thought about it a lot in those... <laughs> in, the, in that <laughs> half a second before you said it was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I considered every angle of the... <laughs> of it and, the, and concluded that it was a shit wizard. I'm happy then. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well, well he hasn't got much defense left now, so. No. But luckily, um, it's all chaos, right? There are no casts yet. Um, yes. Yeah, that is pretty lucky. Both sides also have plenty of spares, so it's not. Yeah, it's more I mean, quality than numbers. Th there's. One guard that went out, wasn't it? Or did I misread what went out? Strength went out. Yeah. Oh, strength went out, alright. Yeah, it's quality that's going out so far. But he does have two strengths, so it's not too bad. Yeah, he can still do things. Like, the, the, the half isn't lost, uh, but it's looking dark. Yeah, it's, it's not good. The dwarves are basically getting another turn of one year to kind of tee off is the thing. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure he uh, shouldn't just have, like, dodged away with this Jimmy Fantastic, the second uh, strength <laughs> up, but um, he's not punished for it yet, um, rolling pushes on, on that one. I mean, but the yeah, thing is, him, saying punish get, right, get like, claw, if he dodges, it's a 2 plus and he hasn't got dodge right, so it's like, it's pretty, the, the dodge off is pretty risky, whereas making a 2D with block is pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, but then, like, he's always, like, because of the stand firm, he's always taken uh, a, a, a counter block with the Claw mm. Mighty, um, which is why I, I want him to dodge off. Um, it's interesting. If you dodge off, you might get hit by and all, a And bomb. also, like, the, yeah, yeah, that that is fair, but it's also, like, uh, dodging off makes sure that he has something in terms of, like, defense still. Well, uh, not if he rolls a one. Option. No, of course, but... Wasn't it a wizard ship? No, I don't know. I don't know if that... It was, it was interesting. It was an interesting... Whether yeah, yeah, of the course. It, 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 yeah, it's... it's it's an interesting philosophy, and I I understand why you uh, come to come to value it um, because it, it has upside. I just feel like with the tools that he has in this match um, and with the board state as it was, it wasn't necessary. I think he's on a clock. I think he's on a big clock, and I think you know it's like it's really. Ooh, it depends on how he plays the game, right? How he, but yeah, now I'm. It's just, it wasn't that cool. Another KO. Does he have a bait? Um, he's got know. one. <laughs> no, no, he's got an extra apple. Extra apple. <laughs> mm. Maybe you should. Have, hmm, maybe you should have one of those players though. But no, yeah. I don't. I, in the second half, yes. In the yeah. first half, no. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Like, I just give up on the defense, defense, right? Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. Once the once the strength fall goes off to the foul, that's it. Uh, that's great, right? Because he's safe. He's safe on a KO. Like it was like. Yeah. Remember the other one where like a dancer got KO'd and then he, someone apoed it, then he got cast. <laughs> you know, like it's it's you can't apple that strength fall there because you just get gang fouled next turn. So I think that was a fine point to just give up on the defense, like he did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. That's. That, yeah, f uh, very fair. Uh, but I feel like uh, uh, waiting turn one uh, or turn two to see like if if nothing else happens like that he can take advantage of is fair uh, for this drive like not pulling the trigger. Um, but yeah, because mm. like the it's just I don't I don't know like the next drive that the Chorps get because like. 
you assume that it's falling to overtime, right? You're yeah, which is already a bad assumption, you know? That's the thing. He's got a claw yeah. pummer. He's got two claw pummers, two tackle claw pummers. He's got loads of tackle throughout his team. He's got more claw. Might, like, his team is terrifying. In overtime, he might have five players left. So, yeah, for that reason, that's exactly why. <laughs> that's exactly why I don't want to assume yeah, overtime. Might right? have, and I don't might want to have overtime. 13 players left in overtime. Like, it's... Well, you might, but, I mean, <laughs> I've, I, I like the wizard there, but I, at least he should have thought long and hard about it. I think that was, like... I think that was the one chance to use the wizard this drive, basically, right? And and it's happening. I, 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 it yeah, but that's that's the th that's where I disagree, right? That's because like there it wasn't that one chance. Well, it was. Yeah, well, it, I mean, it was. It turns out it was. He, hasn't, he hasn't had any chances at all. No, but it, yeah, it turns it turns out it was, but like that's like you can't evaluate like a decision based on what happened since, right? Well, no, I mean, I, I said it at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... I also don't think this was, like, an unlikely result. This feels like a likely result based on how that had gone so far. He hasn't gotten yeah. an obscene number of removals since that point. Yeah. No, but he could have gotten in front, right? But he hasn't played to get in front, and that might have been this mistake, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted the, the strength up to come back. Like, I, I wanted him to get in front again to be able to take advantage of having the wizard still this drive. I think that's definitely wrong. <laughs> On turn two, you didn't want him to go get to get in front again. On no. turn two, no, I, no, I preferred right. giving up like that. Like when he gave up, I preferred him giving up. Yeah, but that was turn three. Like that was turn two is when he still had a wizard and you wanted him to use it. Like. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, like I, I want, I, I, well, I would thought about wizarding that turn because it's like. The chance you have to steal a ball. After that, the the dodging away. I just don't want to use the wizard when I can't score off of it. When I'm mm, he could have scored off it, and he could have, you know, he could have, he could have had a very good situation out of it. One of the yeah, two, it, like, it you could have bowled like a bunch of play. good dice. Yeah. Mm. After the wizard, but like if it's not just you a couple of bunch of good dice after the wizard to score, you don't necessarily need to roll all of the good dice in order to generate more scoring threats going forward for the next couple of turns. But if you're not scoring, he's just gonna, like, you saw what happened, he took the ball I and mean, it was just like, yeah, right, I'll just take it right back because I've got a, a ball with dodge and tackle. We have and a ball. <laughs> you might get the one turn here, you never know. Mm -hmm. I see three stand firms, I think. No, no, they're blend are they blending together then? Uh, yeah, there's three, three, three stand firms. Yep, there's three stand firms. There is no natty. We might see a uh, we might see a riot. <laughs> there was a riot um, the other way, right at the start of the drive. Yeah. So it was actually turn. It wasn't actually turn two. It was turn three. So that's interesting, isn't it? Um, so yeah, it's there not interesting, but it is. It is true. It's true. So uh, strength four catch is still still out. Um. So yeah, I mean, there's no one turn, but there might be a riot. So I guess you set up for the riot, primarily, rather than trying yeah. to make these hits. So you could, you you could argue this is both, a mistake because but... well, you can't set up for both right because of the guard and stuff from catches. So mm -hmm. You, I would prioritize because he's got no mighty blow. So I'd have definitely prioritized like you know all of the crap linemen here <laughs> to make the hits and then the good players in the wings to try and get forward on a riot. Because he could have just moved in these guards if it wasn't a riot. Is he going to foul? I don't think so. I think he just moved that player around so on the stand firm or on a push he could keep hitting into more blocks. I what? I mean, I guess you can roll us. Why not? <laughs> yeah, because he wants he wants a completion. Let's go, Jimmy. Fantastic. Gets a level on him. <laughs> or foul, interesting. And he does foul. Yeah, he's got he's got a reserve, and that's a hell of a player in his strength four. But I mean, fix so, does the thing. The fix school does to make fouls a, bad. It's a bit rowdy. I don't think I would have fouled, but I. It wouldn't surprise me to see people <laughs> to see people fouling. It's better in a two half game than what is likely to be a three half game. Obviously, because in a two half game you're like, eh, I lose a spare, it's fine, who cares? But in a three half, that actual spare might still matter. 
Yeah, yeah so. it's a good point because I mean we're in for the long haul now. It's very likely that we're going to have to go over time to win. There is the option, as uh, driver said, could score fast. It's good for Spluh could score fast next half and try and turn over. Like that is an option, but like, like you know, you saw how hard it was to turn over. Like it's it's hard. It's going to be unlikely that you turn him over without using the bits. That's that's the problem, right? Like. It's also going to be kind of unlikely that you get him stretched out unless he is trying to score back. So I guess you could try for like something like a four-turn score, five-turn score. Hope he tries to get stretched. Getting if I were to score do, and then, uh, second guess, I rebel here at all. I think the bulls and the shorts in the middle need to be replaced because we could stand from on the outside and the bulls in the middle, and then there's just not an easy way through anywhere. Um, yes. Here in the middle is probably the weak point for us to go fast. Yeah, and quick invasion yes. helps. Because the choice then are it's really bad to blitz this player, isn't it? Like, because yeah. you can't break through, so yeah, protect your claw pommers there. But we're going to Daka, so that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I like Daka. Yeah. I, I, I want the Wizard Pro T, even if I do get the ball. Glorious I don't know if I love the Daka, but that's reacting to the pitch invasion where there's now an obvious hole on the left side that you could get through and you could go for the quick score if you're going for the long score, then yeah, you get the Daka. Yeah, like he's, he's survived the first half without taking any damage, which is amazing. Yeah. yeah. And then, so he can Daka and take minimal damage, and then he's 50 50 at just winning, isn't he? <laughs> Basically. Yeah, close to. I suppose having the IG5 getting stunned makes the quick score a lot less appealing as well. Mm. And you can still get a scoring threat to be annoying and get himself killed. So, um... Yeah, I... Yeah, oh, you... Honestly... I've, so duck is... I've ducked it successfully with goblins, Weber. <laughs> so... Uh... I have had to duck it with chaos against humans. Because <laughs> 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 I got banged out so hard by humans. <laughs> <laughs> I was forced to duck her. <laughs> um, I kind of hated that, that that guy running forward, right? Because you've already got this guy who's going to get gang fouled anyway that you can't stop. But, it, you know, like, so giving another guy that's just going to get claw pommed and gang fouled seems a bit excessive. Um, because if he's going to do anything, he's going to do this guy. So you've already got this guy behind enemy lines, potentially on a Dakar, right? So the fact that this guy was far, far enough forward for me. Uh, but yeah. he didn't get he didn't get gang fouled, so that was pretty lucky. <laughs> but yeah, generally I don't like that thing in CCL, but uh, only in Chalice, whoever. I did it versus uh, Belly when I beat Belly. I got insanely lucky beating Belly, but <laughs> maybe you should have done it more if you used it to beat Belly Hopia. I mean, I banged Belly out. <laughs> <laughs> As Woody's versus his nasty killer in Dwarf team. Or <laughs> killer uh, Nurgle team. <laughs> Daka Daka. This seems a rather haphazard defense, doesn't it? I wonder what. <sighs> I don't know. It's good enough, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not like it doesn't look like a range in any way, does it? Do you know what I mean? It's just like. No, he just like, wanted to remove maximum do. amount of elves. So it'd be interesting to see what he does. Had to rearrange accordingly. But Simon is giving him time to, to set up the proper line, so. I mean, he doesn't really have to set up a proper line either, right? He can just kind of. As long as he keeps his reactivity. Like you can just kind of let the elves come from eventually. I fucking hate bulls. It's, I hate, I hate chorps. It's just a boring team. <laughs> so right, we're gonna get set this turn. Yeah. So you keep the stand firm. So yes, do stand firm and strength force. I suppose. Okay. I thought you might do stand firm, strength force, stand firm, strength force, stand firm. But yeah, and then the bulls as well, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I like the. I don't know why he went there. Uh, probably to put the bulls in the middle. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you could have kept like both the bulls behind uh, the chorps. I don't understand those bullets. You don't need to do this. <laughs> yeah. That is so greedy. Yeah, I was that really was not deserved. <laughs> Get fucked, bull. Oh, do you think it's her to follow him? <laughs> Oh wow, he's going in. Turn twelve, he's going forward. You can't, oh. Can you foul him? Mm, I mean, no, you can't. He could not now. Before then, I would have. I would have really thought about just putting in the yeah, eight yeah, assist yeah, yeah. foul, honestly. Yeah. But now, now, now he can't foul him. But I would have really thought about the eight man foul. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, it, like, I was serious, like, about fouling him. Uh -huh. Because you do have the time still, like this turn, to do that foul. And he's got, well, he hasn't got break tackle, so I guess he's only an edge three player, so he's not that, he's not as scary he's as a still, real he's still goal. fast as fuck. Yeah, but in terms of like cage breaking and that, he's not as scary as a real goal, right? No. Okay, so the, the chorps are coming in. Uh, two. <laughs> Close off to think about what the options are for Simon after this. <laughs> Nasty stuff. Fair enough, Dwyer. <laughs> so, there's a bit of a gaping. Can you spot the gaping hole? <laughs> I mean, he is strength four, but still. It's definitely the most obvious point. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, well, you know, he's strength he four. Him. There's the bolt. Ooh, he bolts him and kills oh, him. Oh, and gets the removal, which is just an incredible removal. Oh, yeah, that is an amazing removal. Oh, and then he double ones! Oh, no, it's, 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 it's a tackle. tackle. Oh, my God. I actually but like I, the uh, exactly. power up of there as well because. Our removal yeah. was so bad for keeping the hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he has to have that. Wow, I, I think... Because his strength four hasn't got wrestle or anything, has it? But you could have put... A, has he got yeah, a guard? I'm not, no, he hasn't yeah, got any way to break sure. through except just hitting with a blockless... Mm, strength four. Didn't he? I don't think so. I think the strength four blockless was the best way to break through, which is a bit shit, isn't it? Going for the 55% and then... Yeah. He's still got stand firm, so he's, he's still got dodge through tackle to get through, so... I don't hate the wizard to get through, but obviously it sucks a bit, doesn't it? It does suck yeah, a bit. Yeah, I, I, I would not have wizard, I think, but I don't, I don't hate it either. Um, but you do give up a lot of value for ulti. Yeah, it's like, that's like... But you have to get to OT to to think about that, right? So yeah, it's yeah, it's tough. It's tough. And and if you do get to OT, you get you give yourself like then you there, score, you're right? not gonna that guy. You, right? Yeah, you yeah, can exactly, quick score yeah. in OT yeah. with the two rerolls that you've got left, hopefully. And but it's but, but then like if you don't win the toss, how do you score? Exactly. Yeah. So it's tough, isn't it? That might have been. Increased drive equity for reduced match equity. <laughs> On the other hand, like you're gonna like actually defend in an OT, so there's that. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is like <clears throat> he didn't have the movement right because he's high ups. Um, but this is why it's so shit, so incredibly shit to build the cage after you've broken through. Because he's just easily boxed in and there's no way out unless he rolls these pals. <laughs> but he rolled the pals, so it's it's fine. And Whoop. Yep. Fine cage, because like, now what? <laughs> now he scores next turn and tries to play defense, I suppose, but... Or just goes to OT and wants the kickoff. Or, yeah, wants the uh, coin flip to get the kickoff. Oh, yeah, he's got to reroll this because this bull is just nailing him at the moment. Oh, man. 
<laughs> oh, fuck. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he doesn't even have sidestep on that guy, no. no. Not the best stacker ever. Oh, yeah, he just gets to go straight through. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just one GFI. Yeah, and then he can even pick up. Okay, just gotta hope he doesn't break armor. Not sure about moving him because you know the ball could go in the crowd, right? And that could have been. Yeah, yeah, I hate that movie. Exactly. Yeah, I don't like you what want, you be... want to. You want to have some response. And now he's moved every single piece. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like it's all okay if you're going to try and pick up the ball afterwards, right? Which you are going to do a reasonable yeah, amount of the time. Know that you can. But it would have been nice to have had somebody left. Well, you know, just have it scatter perfectly and then... Yeah. Easy. Also, he could have just hit from an angle, right? So he could have guaranteed it not yeah. going out. Yeah. But he didn't He didn't hit it from the angle to guarantee it not going out, which then makes all of these previous moves a bit worse. Slightly slow, yeah. He's got a leap as well. This string four's got a leap, so he can leap and then two D and back. Yeah, three plus. Can you punch here? Yeah. So he can just two plus out with his string four. Yes, yeah, this cat chicken here. What? How does that two plus out? Oh, oh, he's not tagged anymore, my bad. <laughs> and then he can leap. And get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Easy. No, he's not leaping. Imagine not leaping. He's got a leap down. <laughs> I know it's three plus and it's pretty mm -hmm. scary, but... uh Pay off the... It was really huge. Yeah, the especially getting the ball of strength five, strength four to protect yourself on the. You have you have mm -hmm. contained the chorps. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Did you not see that guy? You maybe. must have not seen him. Yeah, maybe not. I'm already going to go for the four plus pickup now. Uh, Reroll's gone. Ooh. So maybe he just wants to get. Yeah, yeah he just stands there and that's the work. Get people in, get his two Ds. Oh, <laughs> Simon's out of rerolls, so that fucking does. Yep, and our rival's only got one. That's more than none. And also, he's got one score to none. Yes. <laughs> yep, I mean, one's one, like, no rerolls is obviously terrible. Yeah. yeah. There's so much tackle and obviously just picking up things and stuff. Oh, fuck off. God, I hate chores. <laughs> Not fouling the edge for now. That blitz seems odd. Mm. I guess we're just doing the leap into a. Yeah, he's blitzing there to clear this tackle zone, so then he just. 2 uh... 2 2. two. No. Two, 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 two. Yeah. We're hit. We're hit. <laughs> Edgy 5 is fun and interactive. All oh, that work, all that yes. struggle. The just good forward. guy sport. The good guy sport. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute legend. And he's got an extra chance that kills. Like it's funny that this has gone like pretty much perfectly for him in terms of attrition, and he's still got n no rerolls left, and he's going into overtime. <laughs> yeah, without a re without with the wizard spent, a wizard spent. And but it's like that's that's how good chores are against uh, against them, right? Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty brutal. Perfect, yeah, perfect it turns to all. Fantastic. <laughs> Never in doubt.
could go for the bull score, but probably better to not and just maximise your curb arm. Yeah. I mean, obviously you should set up to take advantage of something. But, I mean, you do that at the same time. But... <laughs> Diced getting a blitz when it doesn't matter. Comedy mega. <laughs> <laughs> Should have 3D'd there. Yeah. Outrageous. <laughs> I don't Didn't know. Didn't even dub skull into self dead. Yeah. Like. I don't know, like maybe, like, jump, but it's just definitely, definitely correct. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, thing, yeah, right? Like, yeah, keep yeah. keep saying it over and over that's again. Why, but that's it's... why I get literally, legitimately irritated. <laughs> yeah, because there's like, there's no reason to not make that a 3D. There's, yeah, it's turn yeah. 16. There's literally no positional cost. You have to make that yeah. a 3D. Your idiots are just standing around to maybe provide one extra assist on a potential foul. Mm. Which the extra dice on the knockdown could have made the difference between a removal anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. More likely. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. No foul finder, but he's got plenty of reserves. That doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Maybe he could have uh, fouled with. Oh no, he's got, he's got, he's got a dirty pair on the bench. I was going to say maybe he could have like fouled with a rookie. Right here we go. See who wins the toss. Good guys. KOs also. On good guys. Two KOs back. The elves win the toss. Yes. You're I'm sorry, me there's a Irvel, it's nothing personal. I like you as a coach <laughs> and as a as a person. It's just you. You play the shit. You're doing chores. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing against Irvel, but of course it's 2.2k chores, and you know I quite like this player for our uh, Sambo Science yeah. team, and I quite like this player as well, and <laughs> quite like this player, <laughs> quite like this player. <laughs> I quite like this player. <laughs> this one's got a really good name. <laughs> but yeah, no rerolls is, is rough when there's so much tackle. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, so now particularly, right, ch ch uh, ch ch I was saying Chuntman instead of Skrull. Skrull's point, right, you, you want your most valuable players here because they can't blitz them and thing, and you want your toughest players here and here. So so this definitely wants to swap the bulls and the, uh, and the claw pommers here. Like a hundred, a million percent if you're Dadle. A million yep. percent. The, the I would bowling. say a million percent. <laughs> but also, like, it's it's just making the pathway through most difficult, right? Yep. It's not going, if he can avoid it, he's not going through a 1D uh, <laughs> on a stand firm, right? It There's also, no fucking um, way. It's particularly synergistic for dwarfs because they want the bulls to be centered and responsive. Yes, anyway. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But now there's a way through, um, provided he's getting the uh, the push. Uh, doesn't even need it. Like more than that. Of course, like How? as we saw, like even even with that, um, it's going to be easy enough for the uh, the. Chops to box them in here, but like you need you need the progression as the uh, well. As they they'll be able to put a box around them. I'm not oh, so sure they'll be able to two. box them in. He's rolled a two. He's failed at the pass. Diced. Come on, anyway. If only have the re -roll. Anyone else? Yeah, maybe he's could have got another scoring threat forward, right? Yeah. So that he has. Yeah. So this one isn't just more. such an obvious blitz. This guy yeah. and you're fine, kind of turn. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Badly hurt. It's fine. He'll be fine for open ladder. <laughs> no pylon. I. Tend to agree because you do want to hold a bit of a uh, space. Doesn't get him. Hmm. So the guards in.
Still not good for the high elves, is it? No, it's pretty shit. Um, <laughs> but at least they still have like some options and plays available. Um, it's not over, over. Don't say it's over. It's definitely not Elliot level so over. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it'd been better to have this guy like six away from him, right? One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six. Like, okay, on one hand, it encourages him to come and try and face with a ball. But, like, you're going to have to roll some dice anyway. So, you know, if, you, if you're six away from him, you can just go and hand it over. Don't hand it over. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure about staying there with your strike piece. To get hit by tackle, like it's. Well, he's kind of he's kind of got to do something now, hasn't he? Like you know, he's got to. Oh my god, he's got to. T <laughs> he's got to take some hits to just have people. Like around, basically. Like you know, like controlling action. Yeah, but you also you also see sort of like can't give away free hits from like your primary score scoring threat without like even requiring the blitz. And then it's not ideal. And then, like, um, I I want also want to spread the short defense in a way, right? Um, now, now it's just successfully boxed in. Well, he's he's broken out over this side a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah, but then he gets shut down by that same ball who stayed central, um, <laughs> taking the free hit on the primary scoring threat. Well, I mean, th this guy is the primary scoring throw, but yeah. But now he's going to get blitzed by this bull, isn't he, probably? So this bull can swing to the middle first, and then he can whack him and then take this guy down. And then it's and Jimmy's getting decked left, right, and center. You're right about that. It's like we're playing Dungeons and Dragons again. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting this because this bull up here is a bit shit, but you can understand the point of it in that mm. he wants to turn him over. He doesn't just want to defend this, does he? Like, okay, he's got a reroll advantage, but he doesn't want to just defend here. So it is a bit tricky, actually. It's not. It's not as yeah, inside yeah, no, as you think no, it's because it's true. He has to turn him over, really. He doesn't have to, but he wants to. Mm. He's far enough ahead that he wants to turn him over and not just take the 60 odd percent on kicks. Which could also fail as well, right? Yeah, it's a. It's a. 29 without a reroll, right? It's a one great. Well, well, I mean, like, he could fail He could fail to get to kicks if he just tries to get to kicks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that too. Oh! Three plus catch! Holy shit! Now we're <laughs> A push? Oh. I mean, is a plot or so push was. I mean, you a have to be result. happy with a push there, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I meant mean, that was good. <laughs> you didn't want in nine because he's got no block. <laughs> and he fails the dodge. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, still not over. No. The thing oh, is here, it's a 1 in 9 for the bull, isn't it? The, the bull not having break tackle is a bit shit. I wonder if there's, if there's a better way, but it doesn't look like there's a better way. Because the wrestle's worse because he hasn't got block, so you've kind of got to hit him with a block tackle. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, Like break. double GFI to hit with this guy. <laughs> it's got to be worse than a 1 in 9 dodge. Oh, well, he's... Has it? I would say definitely 1,000% yes. Because <laughs> you don't want to spunk the reroll trying to get there. Mm. It's interesting. I think it's close. Oh, he's got this bull. He's got this bull. Lovely. So two, two, two sure feet to hit him. All right, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah that's that's nice. That was a nice, yeah. nice spot by I Rabble. I rebel, I rebel. It's almost like he's paying attention trying to win the game. <laughs> like these two dickheads casting it. <laughs> yep. 
Almost. Only gets the push. Oh, yes! <laughs> so you're saying there is a chance. There really is. Ooh. Moving, ooh, that helps in the wrong square. Yeah, he's so he's the block out. Yeah. Oh, he's got him there. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good again. I hate this. Because it's good. I want the elves to win. <laughs> Why can't I revolt this shit and just let Simon win? <laughs> so yeah, now now he is the now he now he is the, the blitz out. or he's and oh. now it's a three two. Yep. Oh, he gets the power. Oh man. Uh, oh man. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Arvo. That was really, really well played. Uh... Oh. Ha. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what can you say? Jim except... could have gotten a better result on that. Ah. <laughs> Jimmy, fantastic. Andy's man of the match. Oh, he levels. What a, what a. I mean, it's a different Jimmy, fantastic. The levels, this, but wow. This served, this served Jimmy, fantastic. Wow, the uh, the the dimmy the dimmy coefficient in this game. Look at that, twenty nine AV breaks to three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Arvel. You you, I think you played really well. I I as far as I obviously I was clearly rooting for the elves, but uh, like I couldn't see many openings that you left them, um, which yeah. Just what I expect, like from from having played against you myself, like it's it's tough. Yeah, I tough. revel. Hello, I revel. Couldn't beat a Jimmy Fantastic team too good. Yeah, no, yeah, I played really well, and uh, you know there was maybe right the 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 gap with the strength force stand firm, but I mean he was still a strength force stand firm filling it. So, and then obviously it did take the wizard to break through that. Um, yeah, it was it was the uh, the two. Um, the bull setup, uh, you, the way you set up on in OT, and then also like the uh, the first attempt to pick up with the non ball carrier. Those were the two mistakes that I saw. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, it's like that, like really well played. As Skrull said, yeah, like that was just. But you know, it's all six and two threes, right? At the end of the day, you rolled you rolled all the dice, didn't you, uh, Sambo yeah. Simon? Did play well for the most part, but the big thing was he, you know, he got pretty lucky not getting people cast, and then yeah. really lucky rolling all of the dice. And obviously, he had the more fantastic team, and therefore deserved to win. I mean, come on, <laughs> come obviously on, that. right? Yes. Yes. Come on. <laughs> and <laughs> so there you go. Five percent powered uh, to lose the game uh, with the with the potato. So that was good. <laughs> mm. There you go, right? So there you go. Commiserations, I raffle. Congratulations, Sambo Simon. Thank you very much, Daedal and Scroll. Glorious having you guys in the booth. Glorious casting some Blood Bowl two. Not Jimmy three. Fantastic is well on his way to finally winning a chalice. Woo! <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Roll it off. Glorious. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.